Hey everyone, this is Lewis from WP Academic. Here's a quick tutorial on what you can do if you can't log into WordPress and trying a password reset doesn't work. Either you don't know the username or you don't have access to the email address that's associated with the website. All that's needed to, is the access to the website files. So this should be easier than some other tutorials that make you go into the database. So your first option here is if you know the username that you're trying to log in with, then we can just reset the password. If you don't know the username at all, then we're going to just create a new user in a similar way. So let's dig into option one of resetting the password. Now, like I said, all you need is access to the website files. In that case, they're on my computer here. Now in a standard uh, WordPress installation, you should see a folder called WP content. And then inside there, you should see themes. Now my uh, theme name is just 2020. This is the standard WordPress theme. Um, your theme name is probably going to be different. If you're not sure what your active theme name is, then I would just suggest that you go over to what wptheme and then you can enter in your URL, and that should give you some sort of insight into what folder you should be looking into. So I'm going to go back to my theme, and in here you should find a file that's called functions.php. So I'm just going to click there, and I'm going to go to the very bottom, now, I already pasted my snippet here for resetting the password, and you don't have to try and copy this from the video itself. I'll put this in the description. Um, I just want to explain to you what this is going to do so that you know how to use it. Uh, the two things that you want to change here are going to be username and the password to reset. So you want to change this to the username that you think is you're trying to log in with, and then password to reset is going to be the new password. So what this is going to do is when the page loads, it's going to look at the username here and then get the username information. If that username exists, then it's going to do a password reset and set the password to what you have it set to up here. So I'm just going to save this file and I'm going to go to the front end of my website and I'm just going to do a refresh. And all that's going to do is make sure that my function gets called. So after that, I can actually just delete this from my functions file because it did its thing. I'm going to save my functions file and then I'll go to WP admin, admin, and then my new password. And I was able to log in. So we can see that this worked. Now, if you don't know the username, um, one thing that you can do is called uh, user enumeration, which is basically going to the front end of the site. And we're going to type in this and then question mark author equals one. Uh, in some cases, you could do author equals two, author equals three, basically trying to guess the um, ID of the author. And what that's going to do is it gives me all the posts created by that author along with their username. You can usually find the username by just going near the post information and seeing it there. So that's one way of actually retrieving what uh, the username is. Um, by the way, you can actually add a little security here in your case. So if I were to go to my user profile, I can change my display name publicly as my nickname here. In that case, it's not going to show my username. So if I were to go back to this page here, it's, we just have safer nickname. I suggest that you just do that in general for site security. Um, now, if you know the, pet, the email address uh, of the account, but you don't know the username, the other option here is we can comment out this line that's gonna get the username by the login and then we're going to uncomment these two lines here. And so instead of retrieving the user information based on the username, this is actually going to use the email address. So you would just need to change the email address here, and then that should actually work in the same way. Um, now, if you neither of these work, for example, and you don't know what the username is or what the password is, then uh, we have another option down here. So I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to uncomment this function down here. Okay, 
Now, this is basically going to create a brand new user and set the user role to administrator. So all you need to do is replace these three variables here. So you can set the username to you know mostly whatever you'd like it to, uh, set a new password, and then choose an email address. So I'll just set a new username to test user, and then I'll just keep password like that. And this works in a very similar way, so I'm just gonna save it. And then I'm gonna go to the front end of my site. And all I needed to do was reload it. And I can go ahead and remove this now. And I didn't even have to be logged in. And now I can go to my all users. And you'll notice that it just created my test user with my test email. So that's another way of just creating a new user if you don't know the username or email address that's associated with the site. And that's that. Um, hopefully this helps you get back into your website. If you're having any issues at all, I can walk you through this process. Just email me at lewis at wpacademic.com. My email will also be in the comments for the video as well. Uh, so feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe for more, and have a great day.